got the warm coffee. Let's see, can you see the steam? Can you see the steam? I don't think it's picking up, but anyway. <laughs> we got our coffee, so now we're gonna head to my reading spot. I already got everything ready, cause I wanna just get to it. So I'm just gonna give you, let you see what we got here before I get in here. These are the two books I will be reading. Mainly I'm trying to read this one, but we're gonna get to that in a minute. Um, got my amethyst crystal for relaxation. I like to have it nearby. I keep it on my desk while I'm working. And yeah, like I said, I have it by me while I'm reading also. Got my blankets. Got my little homie here. He knows, he knows. And then I like, oh, I also have my water. Got candle lit. And then I like to put on um, relaxing music or sounds of rain. Shout out to Gabby Reads for, she put a playlist in one of her videos and I found this channel from there. So I like to have this on while I'm reading to create some atmosphere because I live in the city and I don't really have all that outside my door, out my window. So that's what we're working with. So uh, I'm going to get in here and let you know what's going on today. Okay, here I am. This is me on a Saturday. It is noon. I'm hoping to read for a good hour or two. We'll see. Um, I muted my see, city life. Uh, I muted my jazz music for a minute so I can talk to you. So, um, I was supposed to be reading. What's the book? Okay, yeah. I was supposed to be reading Baby Teeth and I wasn't feeling it. I, and effed it, did not finish it. And I was like, okay, well then I'll just move on to Chalk Man, which I have here. I had already had that in my TBR. But my daughter had gotten Sundown Motel and she started reading, she didn't care for it. So when she was telling me what she didn't like about it, I was like, sounds good to me. I also already had this on my TBR on Goodreads. So I was like, sounds good to me. Why don't you pass me that and I'll, put baby teeth aside and I'll read Sundown Motel and then I'll save Chalk Man for later. So I have been moving rather slow on Sundown Motel this week. I am only on page 44. I'm not sure if I'm on 44 or 45 because I was falling asleep. Not that the book is boring, it's just I read right before I take a nap in the evening. So, but I started this on Monday or Tuesday. I should be like on page 100 or something by now. So I was like, well, is it the book or is it me? So then I was like, well, let me just take a break and let me read a little bit of Chalk Man and see if that has more of my uh, attention. So yesterday I read to like page 17. This one is divided up by time periods. They both are not divided by chapters. Chalk Man goes between uh, 2016 and 1986. So I read a few, I read the first 2016, the prologue for it, the first 2016, the first 1986, and then I stopped at the first 2016. I will say though, from the first 1986 chapter, uh, a lot happened. <laughs> so I was like, what, what the? It reminded me of Still House Lake, which will be in my review, but uh, how I was just, laying here chilling, reading it all of a sudden, it was like, I had to literally sit up and I was just like <sighs> flipping pages. So that wasn't, I wasn't like flipping pages, but this one I was like, what is going on? So I was like, nope, nope, I'm going back to Sundown Motel. I want to get this book read. So I'm going to read this right now. If it does not hold my interest, I will let you know. And then I will go back to Chalk Man. I don't want to not read this book though. But anyway, so this one is about, I'll just read the little short little snippet here. Something hasn't been right at this rundown. Can I get my words together? Something hasn't been right at the roadside sundown motel for a very long time. And Carly Kirk is about to find out why in this chilling new novel from the USA Today best-selling and award-winning author of The Broken Girls. So this one goes in between, it's basically, um, and they said the young lady named Carly, she has an aunt named Viv who disappeared in the 80s and she was last seen at the Sundown Motel. She was working there. So it goes in between the aunt 
uh, what she went through working there and starts from when she first started there and then to the I guess this is present day I don't know if this was written in 2017 let's see no this was written in 2020 so um, it goes to 2017 where her net her niece Carly is trying to figure out what happened to her aunt she goes back to the Sundown Motel to try to retrace her aunt's steps and stuff to find out what happened so uh, where I am right now that's about all I've got. Some 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 things have happened already with the aunt at the hotel, which is good because we're not that far into it. Like so I'm only this far, and already let me get a little sip. Mm. I have my coffee every day for work, but it's like I that's my relaxing part of the morning for work. But it's nothing like having it on the weekend where you just can sit and just indulge, not have to worry about work but anyway um so yes yeah, so far a little bit of stuff has happened with the aunt um where it's like oh okay what is what is going on and the niece i think i'm at the chapter with her niece um i think i'm at the part where she just gets to the hotel and she's like starting to check out stuff like look around or whatever so not much has happened yet so i am going to read this and um I'll come back and let you know some thoughts. Hopefully some things happen. <laughs> Hopefully I get a little bit further. I am not the fastest reader. Um, I read pretty quickly when it comes to like subtitles or captions on a TV show or a movie because that's what I do for a living. I edit subtitles and captions. Um, but when it comes to reading novels, I like to really digest things. So I guess I don't read fast and like sometimes if something doesn't make sense to me or I want to, I don't think I understood it, I'll read it more than once. I'll read the same sentence like two or three times if I have to. So anyway, we'll get into this and see how it goes. start 49 uh, it was 2017 now we're getting ready on page 49 go back to 1982 um, Carly just decided she okay Carly's working or she has this new friend uh, this roommate that she's staying with in the town where her aunt disappeared named Heather okay yeah um, so when they get to the Sundown Hotel just to look around, Heather finds this ad piece of paper that they're looking for a night clerk. That's the same job her aunt had. And she's like, okay, that's crazy. Um, they have the same job posing that my aunt had. So of course she's like, well, I thought I have to take it so I can look into what happened to my aunt and really see what she went through. And it could be a little fun. Um, <laughs> it's like when you watch a movie and you're like, don't do it, don't do it. Uh, this was one of the issues my daughter had with the book. She was just like, I, I just think it was dumb that she wanted to go stay at the hotel. I wouldn't have done that, the motel. But I was like, if you don't do it, there's no book. So I have to get past that the same way I have to get past the lock every door. This one, at least, she knows things happen there or something bad happened to her aunt. At this point, she thinks it's like a killer, like somebody murdered her aunt. So she's kind of like, it's been 35 years, the killer wouldn't still be out there. And then she's like, well, if something does go wrong, at least I kind of know what's up so I can be aware. So it's kind of like, OK, I like the fact that the author addressed concerns that readers would probably have, but she's still doing it anyway. So <laughs> we shall continue. 
But of course, like I said, if she didn't say, there would be no book. I just really appreciate movies that are really smart with the person either does what you want them to do and they can't get out of it. Like in um, the first, par first par par paranormal activity. Do remember if it was the first one? I feel like it was or the second one, but either way, they left and they did this in Insidious too. If you haven't seen the spoiler alert, but they leave and then the entities, the demons, the spirits follow them. And that's when you're like, oh dang, well, I don't know what you're gonna do now. And then in Get Out, um, when he finally realized, again, spoiler alert, <laughs> um, things weren't fully clear to him. Cause even when you're watching, you're like, what is, what is going on here? It's one of my favorite movies, by the way. When you're watching, you're like, what is going on? This is weird, what is, and when you figure out it's a little bit before Chris, but not much more. And then by the time you're like, okay, he needs to leave, he tries to leave and then we know how that goes. So those are the movies I'm like, I, I'm not gonna say, cause they did what I would have done. Of course you could say I wouldn't have been in the situation in the first place, but again, we'd have no movie or no book. So let's carry on. By the way, I don't know if I said this, I think I did, it's a Saturday. So yeah, day off, enjoying it. When the weekends come, I look forward to just doing nothing, recharging, relaxing. I don't need to be out in these streets. Whatever's going on before all this, I still wasn't trying to be out in the streets like that. I like to relax, get my errands done during the week so I can just relax on the weekend. So let's get back to the book. <laughs> Uh, 1982, I was three, do the math. Um, she just said that the vending machine had Snickers and they cost 20 cents. Oh, what is that like? I don't want no Snickers, but just the price of that. <laughs> anyway, uh, I did want to comment that um, this is the, like it's giving us date, September, whatever. I'm not really paying attention to that. I'm just keeping an eye on the years. So I know if we're going between Viv and Carly, but um, this is the day after some stuff had happened where um, Viv was at the hotel, motel, I keep saying hotel, um, and like all the doors started closing, um, opening, just like one after another after another. Uh, there were like footsteps uh, above her, like somebody was running down the walkway. She heard a child say, I wanna get in the pool or something like that. Um, Think. She ended up running to her car and hiding in her car and this woman like stood in front of her car and like put her hands on the car which she thinks was a ghost and she's like I thought about quitting but mm, no I don't want to go back to my small town working you know my little menial job or whatever I'm just gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna tough it out but again we didn't she didn't do it we didn't have a book so, and this is also the kind of one where, um, like the found footage movies, you already know something bad happens and then it's going backwards to figure out what exactly it was. So she's going to stay after all that stuff happened to her. When them doors started opening, I would have been out, I would have been gone, but that's me. <laughs> page 50 I'm still reading <sighs> she says um, the woman that she saw that may have been a ghost um, she said she looked around the parking lot at the building or the author said she saw no sign of the woman now but she imagined she could feel her maybe it was nothing she didn't know I can't leave her she thought you can't leave her yes you can <laughs> okay <laughs> I guess I don't get it Anyway, um, I forgot to say, this goes in between 
first person when it's Carly's story, Carly's chapter, and then it's third person when it's Viv. Um, that was something else my daughter had an issue with. It doesn't bother me because it's clear each chapter tells you who you're dealing with, whether it's Viv or Carly, but just so you know, in case you don't like that kind of thing. And as I said, it goes back and forth between the past and the present for uh, Carly. So just something to be mindful of. <laughs> continue with the sundown motel i did read a little bit more last night i think i left off left you guys with like one page one oh something 102 i think that was it i'm now on 127 i would really like to finish this today but if i could finish it by tomorrow that would be great because then i can start on another book and still be on track especially because i am going to be off almost the whole week of Thanksgiving so um I can get a lot of reading done then so um yeah anyway I will update you a little bit later on what's been going on because I don't want to get too loud I like to get animated as you know when I talk about my books so I will wait till my daughter wakes up to update you on what's been going on but so yeah got my coffee as you saw got my water gotta hydrate mm. And of course, my amethyst crystal for relaxation. So yeah, take a little swig of water too while I'm at it. Mm-hmm. Yes. 
So, let's snuggle up and put my, look, my music back on. Um, it's fall, but I just felt like seeing some snow. Uh, I like the relaxation music anyway, but I just wanted to see some snow falling. We don't get snow here in Los Angeles, but I can live vicariously through this relaxation video. So anyway, let's get to reading, shall we? into more of a murder mystery um there's three women that were supposed to have been murdered um kathy caldwell betty graham and victoria something um yeah so even going in between carly and her aunt viv they're both trying to figure out what happened to these ladies and um that's not what i signed up for <laughs> I am not going to DNF this. I'm going to finish it. But um, at this point, I'm kind of like, I don't care about what happened to these women. I wanted a haunted house book. Uh, it started off that way with the lights going out and doors uh, opening and then seeing ghost kids and this woman ghost. That was creepy. And then the, um, uh, I believe it was Aunt Viv. I'm pretty sure it was her. I don't know if it was her or Carly, but one of them getting stuck in the uh, amenities closet trying to get a Snickers bar, 20 cent Snickers bar, and it like couldn't open the door. Like that would freak me out. So like that part was creepy and that part was good. Then we got to both of them finding out that women were killed and both of them trying to investigate. And it's now getting repetitive because Carly, I mean, Viv is looking into it and so is Carly. And they're both pretty much finding out the same things. It's just that uh, Carly has more access to technology and stuff like that. But otherwise, I'm kind of over it already. So, uh, like I said, I'm at page 160. I'm going to keep going, but uh, at this point, I had already knocked off a star for the writing about nick and them going down that road of a romance or whatever but then they that went away um because carly was like why don't you come with me while i go investigate and he was like no because too many people around here know about me and my story as i said i think i said this before how his dad killed his brother so he was just like i'm not trying to be dealing with people no we're not doing that so i was like thank goodness because i am not here for that so he hasn't been involved in a few chapters but um, even just, it was a whole page of her describing how his bicep looked and all that stuff. I don't need that again. If I wanted a romance, I would have picked a romance. But anyway, um, and now they're talking about these women being raped and all that. I didn't sign up for that either. Again, I've said this before in other videos. I don't like stories that have to deal with rape or molestation or incest or things like that. I just, no. So... As I said, I'm going to finish it, but it's right now looking like a three-star review, but we'll keep going. Let's put my relaxation music back on. <laughs> at the Sundown Motel anymore. <laughs> That's the name of the book. Yeah, because once Viv and Carly find out about these murders, they go off investigating all over Fell, New York. Um, and so far, neither of them have been back to the Sundown Motel. 
I guess because Betty Graham is the one that was dumped at the Sundown Motel. That's part of, you know, still dealing with the Sundown Motel. But again, there are no more ghosts. There's no more Sundown Motel. I'm about halfway through this book. Uh, I do plan to record a review of Stillhouse Lake, so I'm going to stop at page 200. I'm going to try to get to 200. We'll see. I am going to stop soon so I can record that video, and um, I'm assuming I'm going to finish this book between today and tomorrow. Tuesday at the latest. So, um, yeah. I will probably just post a review on Goodreads, but we'll see. It will definitely be in my um, November Reads wrap up for sure. So, anyway, back to the book. I would like it to be like 170 or something, but that's another chapter. As I said, I need to record this review video and I'm getting hungry, so um, it's about time to stop for today. Well, for now. I'm also going to end this vlog because, like I said, I have other things to do and it's Sunday, so things to do to get ready for the week and whatnot. But I am going to read some more tonight. If you want to find out more, you can keep up with me on Goodreads. Um, occasionally I update stuff on Instagram, not as much as Goodreads, but, um, so you can find out what I have to say, my final thoughts on this book here on YouTube, either it will be in a review or my November wrap up. It will definitely be in my November wrap up, but maybe a separate review as well. You'll have to stay tuned to see. So I hope everyone has a good week whenever you're watching this and, um, be well. Thanks for watching. Bye.